for Alice Nelson. Lane two, Tasmin Thomas. South Africa in three. Fanet has Japon in four. Odion five. The five of France six. Froman of Germany in seven. There is Corrales Nelson. And the PB of 24 did that to qualify. So a good championships already for her. Tasmin Thomas went sub 23.4 in April. Might need that again. 19 year old Fanet Giapon. Runner up in her heat. And Odiong, the second fastest in terms of her PP, alongside Rafai of France. Got PBs in 100 and 200 this year, so having a great season. Eleni Froman of Germany. As I said, a little bit fortunate to come through qualification. Finished third in her heat. Georgia Hulls of New Zealand. Now, she will have seen the New Zealand 4x1 team getting disqualified. I hope she can draw some sort of inspiration from that and just want to make up for that disappointment. It was uh, very disappointing considering they'd got themselves a national record. And then on the outside, Taylor Bennett, the USA. Second favourite, I think, uh, fair to say in this uh, event, but certainly medal potential for Taylor Bennett. And she's the fastest on paper in this final semi-final. Seda Williams with 23.35, the fastest time so far, comfortably through. Ambrose, Rivera, best. All qualified. And another reminder, 23-7-2 to beat for Kilo's position. Let's just see how quick this heat is. Six of the eight have been under that 23-7-2 time. Temperature dropping away, as you'd expect at this time of the evening. But the wind has died away as well, so conditions are good. Away we go. The last semi-final of the women's 200 metres. What a good run from Odiong. And she looks very, very strong at the moment. As Pong of Great Britain coming strong in the last 20 metres. Can she get the Frenchwoman Rafael? She can't quite close down the gap. Odiong takes the win and uh, made that look very, very easy indeed. Business done, but there's more to come from her. The women's 200 metre final tomorrow evening. That is what she is thinking about already. 23.19, and the fastest time in qualifying. Yes, that's hugely impressive, isn't it? Even faster than Sada Williams in that first heat. Now the race is on for fastest loser spots, and uh, it could be very, very tight indeed for one of those fastest loser places, but it would appear that the Bahrainian there really does look like a gold medal prospect. That was a stunning performance, and just looking at the times here, well, Taylor Bennett, United States, 23.49. She will be a fast loser, and Agupong, well, she's very close as well. Завтра в прямом эфире на Евроспорт 2. Чемпионат мира.